that day I remember, like it was yesterday, uh, she came up to my car and asked if she could see, go up into the village and meet up with her friends. She said, what time do you want me home? I said, 9.30. She said, okay, ma, I'll be home at 9.30. And gave me a hug and said, I love you. That was the last time I saw Kelly. Called the police and I said, I'd like to report my daughter missing. That They said I would have to wait 48 hours because of her being 16. The police, like I said, they just went around uh, questioning kids on the street about her, um, not really getting any satisfaction, uh, getting false um, reports of her being seen. Uh, we followed up every, every Kelly sighting that we received um, and, and we chased down many as it turns out to be very you know, spurious and bogus leads. You know, we had no reason to believe that she was a danger, endangered initially other than um, you know, she she said goodbye to mom, said she'd be home, and she took off. Listen to other kids tell their story, but they weren't really, I, in my opinion, they were not really listening to what the family was trying to tell them. Well, I would have liked to, for the police to have done a search. Um, where? Well, where she was last seen, which would have indicated a complex that she might have gone to. Um, I think they should have gone door to door um, with a picture. I don't believe they did that at all. To my knowledge, no grid search was ever done. Uh, we didn't have an area necessarily to do a grid search in to, to locate her. We interviewed uh, uh, probably hundreds of people through this case. We have a dossier that is, that is uh, so heavy that you couldn't carry it. And many things were done behind the scenes, and we did uh, have the sheriff's investigators assist us. We've done, you know, we've had the state police investigators assist us. So I certainly take exception to the fact that anyone would allege that this was not handled seriously. The police don't have crystal balls. You know, when parents call and say that, you know, my 16-year-old uh, said goodbye to me last night, kissed me goodbye, and didn't show up the next day. You know, we do what we can with the resources that we have. In, in reality, 99% of all the missing teenagers that go missing show up within a few days and we do okay. Unfortunately for Kelly, and my heart bleeds for the family because they want answers to what happened to Kelly. And unfortunately, uh, we don't have a cause of death uh, for Kelly. Um, and we don't know who was with her when she died. I do this because I want to keep it in the community's minds. I want them to realize that something horrendous happened in this town and it remains unsolved. And I want Kelly to be remembered.